Hello and welcome. Today we will be walking through step by step on using two of the Helper Suite apps, Rollup Helper and Lookup Helper, for reporting periods. Our focus will be on monthly reporting, but can easily be adapted for year over year reporting. First, let's look at what Lookup Helper and Rollup Helper are and how they can help. Lookup Helper allows you to relate all your important objects, such as accounts, contacts, opportunities, or any other objects in Salesforce to a single category record. For our use case today, we will be using Lookup Helper to automatically relate opportunities to reporting months. Rollup Helper can roll up any information in Salesforce, even when you are using a lookup relationship. For example, the use case we have today is to see summarized opportunity information on a reporting month record that can be used to drive workflow in addition to being accessible for monthly reporting. During our walkthrough, we will create a reporting month custom object, use Lookup Helper to relate opportunities to reporting months, and use Rollup Helper to summarize opportunity metrics on the reporting month. So let's get started. Step one is creating a reporting month custom object. I already have one created here, but I'm going to walk through the creation process. From setup, select object manager and create custom object. Enter your label, enter your plural label, Identify whether or not your custom object starts with a vowel sound. Enter a description if desired. Select your optional features. Select whether you would like your object to be in development or deployed. Choose Allow Search if you would like your users to be able to search for records of this object type. Select whether or not you would like to add notes and attachments. And I always select Launch New Custom Tab Wizard to ensure that my object is fully set up. And then I'm going to click Save. Select your tab style. Optionally choose a home page custom link or enter a short description and click Next. Customize your tab visibility if you would like to and click Next. Decide which apps in the org you would like this tab to appear on and select Save. Now that we have our custom object created, we need to create a lookup relationship from opportunity to reporting month. So I'm going to go back to the object manager and select opportunity. I want to select fields and relationships and I want to create a new field. I'm going to select lookup relationship and click next and I want to relate it to the new object that I just created and click next. Add a description if you would like or any help text that's desired. Select your desired preferences and click next. Decide which profiles you would like this field to be accessible to and click next. Select the page layouts that you would like to include this field on and click next. Decide whether or not you would like to add the related list. And here I'm going to select Save and New because I need to also create my formula field on Opportunity to pull out the month and year from the Opportunity close date. So I want a formula field and I'm going to collect Next. Enter your field label. Select your return type to be text and click Next. Make sure that you're on Advanced Formula. Insert the text function. In the text value, we want month to identify the month of the close date of the opportunity. We want to insert the close date. We want to put a dash between the month and the year. So in quotes, we'll put a dash. We also want to include the year and add the close date in again. We're going to check our syntax. Everything looks good. Let's click Next, set our field level security, click Next, assign our page layouts, and save. Now that we have our field set up, we're going to use Lookup Helper to automatically relate opportunities to the appropriate reporting month category records. We want to create a new Lookup Helper setting, select our child object, which is where we created the Lookup field, so that's Opportunity. In step two, we can select either create new lookup relationship or maintain an existing one. We could have created the lookup field from here. When you choose this option, you have to remember to go back and set up your security and page layouts. Since we've already got it created, I'm going to select maintain existing lookup relationship and the lookup field that I created. In step three, I want to relate opportunity records when a field matches a name or ID. And the field on opportunity I want to use to match the name of the reporting month record is that reporting month formula field that we created. We have an option here if we would like to create new parent records if they don't already exist. So when the lookup helper setting runs, if we don't already have a reporting month record for November of 2017, lookup helper will create it for us. 
I don't want to fill out any additional fields, so I'm going to leave this as is, and I'm going to save and run my setting, and click Run. Now that our Lookup Helper setting has run, if I go to Reporting Months 2 and select All, I can see all of the records that Lookup Helper has created for me. If I drill into a record, I can see that my Opportunities Related list is there. Now I can use Rollup Helper to aggregate opportunity information on the reporting month. For this use case, we're going to use Rollup Helper to look at open opportunities that are closing this month. First, I need to create a field to catch my Rollup Helper results, so I'm going to go to Edit Object, Fields and Relationships, and create a new field. I want a Currency field because I'm going to be summarizing opportunity amounts, and click Next. I'm going to call this Open Ops Closing This Month, Add in two decimal places. Optionally enter a description or help text and click Next. Set my field level security and click Next. Add the field to my page layout and now we can go create our rollup. From the Rollup Helper tab, I'm going to select Create a New Rollup. I would like to see my rollup result on Reporting Month. In Step 2 of Rollup Helper, select Target Field. I do have the option here to create a new field. But like with Lookup Helper, I would have to go back and set up my security and page layout. Since I've already created my field, I'm going to use an existing field and select one from the list. My child object is Opportunity, and I would like to summarize the Opportunity Amount. So I'll click Sum, and now we need to create our filter. I'm going to name my filter Closing This Month. Because we're summarizing, I don't need to put a limit on the results that will be returned, and I also don't need to define a sort order. So in Step 3, I want to make sure that I'm only summarizing open opportunities. I'm going to look for the stage. I don't want to include either closed one or closed lost opportunities in my sum, so I'm going to say that the stage does not equal closed one, and the stage does not equal closed lost. Because Lookup Helper is already relating opportunities to the appropriate reporting month, I don't have to worry about adding criteria for this month, so I'm going to save my filter and run my rollup. Click Run Once and OK. Now that we've run our rollup, if we look at one of our reporting months, we can see our revenue that should be closing by the end of the month. Get started by installing Lookup Helper and Rollup Helper free editions from the App Exchange. While you're there, you may also want to check out Storage Helper, the third helper suite app that automatically mass deletes data from your org based on criteria that you define. Today, we looked at opportunity metrics on reporting months. Additionally, you may want to look at metrics for other objects, such as cases or projects, or may want to look at year-over-year -year metrics. For assistance adapting this use case, please email sales at passagetech.com. Thank you for watching.